You have to nip this sort of provocation in the bud. Explain that the wig has to go. It would be dangerous for him if someone grabbed it and it could be a danger to opponents. On top of that, he is exhibiting a clear lack of respect and not taking the game seriously. Tell him he's had his fun. Welcome back to The Ref Show with Mark Lawrence and Keith Hackett. So, refereeing-wise, Euro 2016, what should be the target areas for referees? What should be the priority, Keith? Well, the first one is get the big decisions right. Mm. Uh, and I think that's important. I think the second one, ensure there's no brutality. Because make, make no mistake, there'll be certain countries who will go out to slow down the skillful player uh, as part of the tactics. So be aware of that. Um, I, in Europe, I don't think holding and pulling is a big issue. And that's when I think, hopefully, Roy Hodgson has had uh, Clattenburg or Atkinson in to say, what can I expect? I mean, I mean they've got enough coaches around the England team, technicians and all that, because they're a big entourage when they travel. Let's hope that they just think a little bit about the referee and, the, and do their own work on the referee that they're going to... They, will care. they replicate uh, the World Cup, which we all enjoyed in two years ago in 2014? There was a kind of laissez-faire attitude. Do you, do you see that being replicated? I, I, th I would think it would be nice because, you know, it, it's, it's a European showpiece, mm. isn't it? So I, I, that would be really, really nice. I think I'd love them to crack down on time wasting, as, as Keith says. I mean, the, the teams that can't play are going to, A, they're going to spoil B, they're going to try and stop you, but also they're, gonna wait, they're going to waste time. And we saw it a little bit, Atletico Madrid, and I love watching Atletico Madrid, but there's, like, there's that dark side to their game. And I just love the referees to do something about that. That's what a great can, point. What can they do about that? And the, the feigning of injury to take the tempo away? I, I, I think it's more team. than that, Alan. Mm. Uh, I mean, the time wasting starts from minute one. When a team tactically, and, and these referees experienced it, because home and away leg in the European cups that takes place and therefore it's that getting in and being proactive right showing the watch but reacting to it and then not being afraid to add six or seven minutes yeah they're under a great deal of pressure from television because like all of a sudden when you've got a tournament you've got loads of loads of games i i think the positive side is that kalina tactically is aware and i think he's been working with the referees about improved management with players allow freedom of he likes the free-flowing game and let's hope that that's what we get but i, I mark's absolutely spot on but also that family. feigning of injury i mean Pe oh. pepe in the champions yeah. league final and clattenberg did great with him because he just looked at him and he, you know when he looked at him he knew what, exactly what clattenberg was thinking as in yeah. do one yeah. but i'd just love to see he's six foot four and mm. and there's so many people who do it now he's just do something about it because other people who watch other sports look at football. They may not be football fans and they go, what's all that about? We, 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 we hate it. It's obscene. We, we, we're disgusted with it. We always say, do something about it. But nobody's come up with it yet. Nobody's actually implemented a solution to this, Keith. Well, so I think, what is I th it? Well, I think the solution is, and in a tournament, the solution should be post-match review where, and, and punishment. I do think that if, if they set the example and say, right, we're going we're gonna to deal with this. Mm. I mean, Gordon Johnson, at, when he was the boss of the Scottish FA, came out and said, we're going to go retrospective big time. And then FIFA and everybody went, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. The reality is, this is massively big for UEFA. It's entertainment. We all want to sit down. We all want to watch football. We want the players to express themselves. And we want this out of the game. It's no different to any other retrospect, uh, retrospective offence, surely. No, well, you know, well, a hatchet well, challenge or misfire. But we're in agreement, and the thing is, it's yeah. it, it's like anything with these things. If you then said straight away, automatically, he misses the next game or the next two, the manager completely changes. When, when then, when he's preparing his team for the next game without his man, he goes, "Well, you see what's happened. None of that." No. Well, but, man you know. managers don't condemn it enough, do they? No. They don't come out and no, this don't. is the problem. No, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Ab absolutely. I think it's a real curse on the game at the moment. It really seriously is. And, yeah. you know, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure footballers are role models per se, but kids start doing it. The kids are completely ape what they do and you kind of go, 
hold on a minute, get up, yeah, get on with it. Yeah. It brings it into disrepute. The, the, even the fact that they're out there publicly making a fool of themselves doesn't seem well, to have any impact, But that's the it? thing, yeah, and, and, I, and it's, it's a funny thing because, you know, we're sort of the same age, me and Keith, yeah. and, and you can only be a person, player, referee of your time, but we would have sorted that out in the dressing room. We'd have said, what the hell are you doing, yeah. by the way? It's embarrassing, mm -hmm. which I think John Terry did with Drogba right. early on when they was at Chelsea. Yeah. Jo yeah. John Terry, I'll never forget, they played at West Brom, Brian Robson was managing West Brom and he screamed Drogba, mm. somebody tapped him, you know, obviously yeah, touched yeah. him right on the touchline and Robbo started laughing. Yeah. Like, and then I think John Terry's kind of saying to him afterwards, kind of Monday goes, we don't do that here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, despite I think that, we yeah. still expect this to be a blight on this tournament. Yeah, right? yeah. From certain countries. 100%. Certain. Uh, 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 well, yeah. it's the nature. The, the yeah. players will, you know, there's a willingness to win and they will, yeah. they will cheat. I well, mean, at the end of the day, that, you don't like saying that word, but that's a fact. What, what will P Piero Luigi Collini have said to his referees regarding that and dealing with it? What do you I, think? I, look, the one thing about UEFA is they prepare well. The referees will be prepared to actually hone on that and do something about it. But he will also have a communicate with the clubs. So the club, the, when I say that, the teams, yeah. the manager and coaching staff of the teams will be aware very clearly of what is deemed acceptable and what's not acceptable. And then the disciplinary panel will also, who, who if you like, look at it, will also have possession of what we're going to do with that. So it's a, it is a tournament that's really well, well run, well organised, and we have high levels of expectation. Uh, let's hope that we don't have the ducking and diving that goes on. And I would think, with referees now, if, in terms of preparation, they will kind of look, won't they look at the players who are going to play in the game that, oh. they, ref, that they referee? So you and you know you'd know one or two, and you kind of go, I know all about him. He do, he does a bit of diving. I'll just keep my eye on him. The homework that they do on the teams is again, uh, it, it's the grounding that Kalina brought to the game. He was the guy that really said, I know the teams. I mean, Kalina's depth of knowledge of the teams that he refereed was quite remarkable. It's also interesting in the first half how referees were talking about the playing side of the game, and you had certain opinions on that. The playing side obviously always has opinions on referees. So, Keith Hackett, who's your tip to win the tournament? Well, I'm going for a dark horse. I think it'd be Belgium. Really? Yeah, I do. I, th I think it's a really good shout. The only problem is, I mean, company's out, isn't he, which is, is yeah. a rock for them. Yeah. I think they've lost another defender as well. Oh, they've still got the Marlon and Vertonghen, mm. haven't they? Mm. And the goalkeeper, Courtois. I, I think France will win. Yeah. Well, hey, I think... I think Home nation. Home nation, tell you what, you look, you, look at, you look at their team, they've got a really good side, but they've got probably 16 or 17. And when the games come so thick and fast, I think it's, I think it's a massive thing. They've, they've got an embarrassment of riches in all areas for me. Never rule out the Germans? No, well, ex exactly, exactly. Yeah. But I don't know, I just think, I think that result against England, when England played really well and beat them, I think it's unhinged them a little bit. It's yeah. not quite the same Germany. No Lama, who's been a fantastic influence. Not quite the same team, I mean. I think the thing to say about France and Germany in particular is how they as squads come from a young age. Yeah. They go to tournament and, and they, have, they seem to have a greater experience of tournaments. You know, one of the problems we, that we seem to suffer as England teams is we're staying in a hotel and we get bored yeah. and the, the discipline goes. And we hold our shape and discipline for the first 20 minutes and then we forget everything. Yeah. Mm. But this group, as you say, is naive in terms of big tournament. Maybe that can work to well, their advantage. Yeah, right? well, it's, 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 well, it's, yeah, it's, it's honestly, I'm not be funny, it's down to the individual. I mean, how, how can you get bored nowadays? In, and and I, think, I think the thing is with the Germans, it's that whole, it's, and I think the Italians, because they're great tournament Detail. teams as well. Detail, but also they know, they just go, right, we're away for a month maybe professional footballers, we behave properly, we eat properly, you know, we prepare properly. England, are a little, we're not like that, are we? No. We're not, we, you know, all, everyone goes down the pub in England, they don't necessarily go down the pub in all those other countries, and it's no, just, no. we've just got a different mentality. Yeah. It's a culture, culture thing. Culture, that's the word I was looking yeah. for. Yeah. Quarterfinals, any better than quarterfinals? England? England, yeah. I think, I think quarterfinals is the very least they should. I, I think, yeah. I think semis is about par yeah. for them. Yeah. And do you think if they get the semis, that would have been relatively successful. You mean, will he get another two years contract? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, you do, you do. You think you're going on two years? Yeah, get ten. <laughs> yeah. Have what you want. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, as ever, it's been great to see you and getting your views, and Keith as well, as, as ever. And you, thank you for watching. And we'll be back with another Ref Show, again, looking at the early matches in 2016, the Euro competition, next week. And we'll see you then. Bye.